Hi friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. I thought I'd share a new, another tip on my template. I had this question come up, what's the difference between my CD plan view and my SD plan view, and how do you use these saved plan views? Let's get started. If you find these videos useful and helpful, check out my Patreon channel. That, that link is in the description as well. If Would you consider supporting uh, me and supporting the production of this information uh, for the price of a cup of coffee each month? I would appreciate it. So I've got a plan here pulled up and I want to show you the difference. Um, I've got my saved plan views right here. Um, CD plan view is my is short for construction docs. SD plan is schematic docs. And typically CD plans are going to go on 24 by 36, the architectural D size. And SD plans are going to be going on um, 11 by 17 at 1 8 inch scale. CD plans would be quarter inch. Uh, so I'm going to switch to CD plan. And just as with everything else, you'll notice that um, all the notes, uh, text, CAD lines, etc., are different in this layer set, in the SD plan set. Notice how the uh, labels of the doors and windows are larger. Uh, I just noticed something that my room labels yeah, then we need to we need to update that. Room label room label style one eighth. So that'd be a ten. There you go. Um, now the bigger you get with your text, you know that you're gonna have trouble seeing everything. Maybe what we'll do is in SD plan you could turn off the interior dimensions. But those are very helpful actually, typically. Um, but you can see the difference. Now with your tech, with your dimensions, if I were to pull some dimensions with SD plan, my SD plan um, pulls up 1 8 inch scale dimension defaults. Since I have these as automatic text already created on CD plan, I could select them all and change them to 1 8 inch scale defaults. And go back by undoing like that. All right, so let's go into the view menu. And we're going to show the project browser. And here's our saved plan views for this file. I've got SD plan is open currently. I could concurrently open CD plan view. And I'm going to shift F6 so I can see both of these at the same time. So this is SD plan, this is CD plan. Interesting, when it, whichever one you've got active is the one that the labels are going to uh, follow. And the rooms as well. All right. So let's say I am, let's go to, yeah. Let's go, we're in CD plan saved view. Now the saved view is going to specify that we're in CD plan annotations and CD plan set. That's just how the plan views work. We can open this view. Uh, no, open the view, open the object. I'm right clicking on that in the browser default. So I'm currently using CD plan annotations. 
as the set, the layer set, current CAD layer, it saves all of this information to active defaults here, right? Now, let's say I want to draw a beam right here. I typically, I guess this depends on your workflow, you could draw a line and change the line type. I usually change the line type and then draw the line. So I'd go to CAD Framing Floor and I want to draw, say I need to draw a, beam, a joist right here that I want to highlight. Now I'm in active defaults. I've changed the annotation set and I've changed the current CAD layer. Let's, and then I want to switch to working plan view. Or let's say I want to switch to my electrical plan view. It's going to ask me, hey, CD plan view has changed. Do you want to save that? This saved plan view, which is CD plan view, has been modified since it was last saved. Would you like to save this? No, I don't want to save that plan view because when I when I go back to CD plan view, I want to, everything set up like typical. You know, I want CD plan annotations and I want CD plan set. So I'm going to disconnect that and delete it. So, namely, the difference between CD plan view and CD SD plan view is they're going to pull up different annotation sets and different layer sets. Um, I did mention also that when I'm sending to layout, let's start a new layout. I do not like to send the saved set. You can change that. Let's send this CD plan view at a quarter inch scale. Now, the new layout box is linked to the saved plan view, CD plan view in your plan. Okay, that's fine. Now what I typically do, let's open this, notice how it, it is connected to CD plan view, first floor, and CD plan annotations. I like to copy this and change it to second floor. I can't do that if I'm in CD plan view, so I have to go to none and then second floor. And there you go. Everything's lined up. Uh, you know, back wall, front wall, etc. is all lined up there. Now if I go in here and I change something, I don't want to Let's say I save CD plan view in a different way. I, I don't want to, I don't want to have to remember that something I changed. Maybe it's just getting used to saved plan views. I don't want to. Um, I don't like that uh, connection between the two. So I just go to none, or I switch to none and then send it first. Um, I always I do keep CD plan annotations though that's protected in my mind because I don't want to, this is the look I want to um, I want my layout to be if I want to change it then I'm going to you know switch to working plan view and and create some other objects lines text whatever this I can turn layers on and off. I guess is what I'm saying. I feel like I'm rambling now. But anyway, um, I hope that's helpful. Um, if you learn something, please leave a like. Hit the subscribe down there. As always, uh, all this information that I'm working from is in my template that's for sale. The link will be in the description. Um, for another week or so, don't forget the coupon code subscribe for $10 off until the 20th, $10 off of the template price. If you use the coupon, subscribe. As always, have a wonderful week. Take care.